Uh-oh. What is CM Punk going to do here? He's putting those educated feet to good use. Uh-oh. CM Punk is looking to end it. That's it. He's out. There's a cover. Two. Three. It's over. Tonight of champions. And you can bet revenge for what happened at SummerSlam will be on his mind. Who will go on tonight of champions and meet Alberto Del Rio for the WWE title? Uh, who knows, but what an amazing atmosphere here tonight on Monday Night Raw. I can't help but wonder which man Alberto Del Rio would like to face at Night of Champions, John Cena or CM Punk. Into the collar and elbow tie-up. Only one can come out ahead. Into the tie-up. Who's going to get the upper hand? Nobody wants to give an inch in this. Here we go with Punk. John Cena making a move. Last week on Raw, we saw Alberto Del Rio brutally attack Rey Mysterio after their one-on-one -on -one matchup. Yeah, and that's right. And as a result of Del Rio's dastardly attack, Mysterio now needs surgery. And with Mysterio out of action, Del Rio is now claiming to be the new Latin hero for the WWE Universe. Oh my gosh, that's laughable. He can't anoint himself a hero. The WWE Universe determines who the real heroes in the ring are. And hopefully, whoever wins this matchup here tonight can shut Del Rio up once and for all at Night of Champions. Not today, too fast. Reversal there. What an impact from that kick. That'll leave a mark. C Nation had to like that one. Well, typical response from the WWE Universe for John Cena here tonight. You know, no superstar in history draws the emotion out of the WWE Universe like John Cena. He's so polarizing. Yeah, but you know, there's one thing you have to remember when listening to this one particular crowd. We are in Bizarro Land tonight. Yeah, it's Canada. I can't imagine what Triple H must be going through right now as he heads to the medical facility to be with his friend Kevin Nash, who John Laurinaitis tells us was just in an automobile accident. Triple H and Kevin Nash have been friends for 15 years. It must be an extremely difficult situation, King. CM Punk has been the most topical superstar in this organization for quite some time now. Well, I'd say so, ever since June when he verbally assaulted Mr. McMahon and his family in the way they run the WWE. And speaking of CM Punk's pipe bomb, we now have the unfortunate pleasure of having one of Mr. McMahon's nonsensical yes-men at ringside with us here tonight, John Laurinaitis. People power. Of course, nobody can forget the mistake by guest referee Triple H in the SummerSlam matchup that cost John Cena the WWE Championship. Yeah, but you know what? To his credit, Cena didn't cry about Triple H missing his foot on the rope at SummerSlam. It was human error. And he can make up for it here tonight against CM Punk. Look out! And Cena looking to put him away right here. can say all you want to about CM Punk, but in my book, he's just not that good. What? Are you serious? Do you realize Punk has beaten Cena on two different occasions over the past month and a half? Yeah, well, if he can do it again tonight, then I'll admit he's that good. He was able to reverse that. And he touches that one. High. This could be big. And what a reversal from CM Punk. Heads up. Oh, and 
the reversal by John Cena. Uh-oh. What's CM Punk going to do now? Look at CM Punk here. CM Punk is getting ready here. How awesome was that? He's going for the... And he breaks the cover. Great match here. But if you missed any of the matches from this week, go to WWE.com. And that was a huge counter. Great offense by John Cena. Oh, oh. this. Look at this. Cena went for the AA. And Punk elbows to the jaw. Fighting out of it. And he continues those elbows to... Cena's jaw and Cena's reeling now. Yes! Pump with a big knee to the face. And the cover hooks the leg. Oh my gosh, this could be it for Cena. Only a two count. Look at those eyes. Cena Punk is rolling forward right before our eyes. Triple H's refereeing at SummerSlam is just one example of the problems I've had with the game since he's taken control. There's been a lot of mistakes made, in my estimation, by the CEO of this company. Well, lucky for you, Cole, Triple H is not here tonight. The game left the arena earlier after learning his close friend Kevin... He thinks he has it. He got it. No, kick out it too. Get out of that. And there's the reversal from CM Punk. And what a reversal from CM Punk. It's over. Punk is heading to Night of Champions. And you can bet revenge for what happened at SummerSlam will be on his mind. Tonight of champions and meet Alberto Del Rio for the WWE title. Uh, who knows, but what an amazing atmosphere here tonight on Monday Night Raw. I can't help but wonder which man Alberto Del Rio would like to face at Night of Champions, John Cena or CM Punk. Oh man, that knee looked painful. Neither individual is going to back down here. Alberto Del Rio wasted no time cashing in his Money in the Bank contract at SummerSlam. He only had the briefcase for less than a month. You know, the only superstars that have cashed it in sooner have been Jack Swagger, Edge, and remember Kane. He cashed it in on the same night that he won it. A battle of wills now. Here we go with John Cena. And there's the reversal from CM Punk. Cena reverses it. Oh, he really telegraphed that one, Cole. Good Lord, what a series of strikes. CM Punk seems helpless. An incredible series of moves there. Nobody's budging an inch in this one. Bam! DDT'd right on his face. Wow, what power. John Cena has dominated as of late. And from the way it looks, this might not stop. John Cena has made it clear that he does not respect the way that Alberto Del Rio became WWE Champion. Saying that because of his money in the bank briefcase, he lucked into the title. Well, come on, that's the point of the briefcase, to be in the right place at the right time. Alberto Del Rio earned that advantage when he won the Money in the Bank ladder match last month. Well, typical response from the WWE Universe for John Cena here tonight. You know, no superstar in history draws the emotion out of the WWE Universe like John Cena. He's so polarizing. Yeah, but you know, there's one thing you have to remember when listening to this one particular crowd. We are in bizarro land tonight. Yeah, it's Canada. <laughs> Look at that, too. He was one step ahead on that one. Punk 
sidesteps that one. Yeah, just when you think you have Punk right where you want him. Of course, nobody can forget the mistake by guest referee Triple H in the SummerSlam matchup that cost John Cena the WWE Championship. Yeah, but you know what? To his credit, Cena didn't cry about Triple H missing his foot on the rope at SummerSlam. It was human and it's Cena may now be moments away from victory. You can say all you want. Oh, oh. Look at this! Look at this! Cena went from the AA and Punk elbows to the jaw, fighting out of it. And he continues those elbows to, to Cena's jaw. Cena's reeling now. Yes! Punk with a big knee to the face. And the cover puts the leg. Oh my gosh, this could be it for Cena. Look at those eyes. Cena Punk has found a way to take charge of this match. Cena Punk got a chance and blew it. Not a lot of spring left, and incoming! That's it, he's done. He's setting up. What a move, what a smart move. Great reversal, he wasted no time going for that CM Punk has been the most topical superstar in this organization for quite some time now. Well, I'd say so, ever since June when he verbally assaulted Mr. McMahon and his family in the way they run the WWE. And speaking of CM Punk's pipe bomb, we now have the unfortunate pleasure of having one of Mr. McMahon's nonsensical yes-men at ringside with us here tonight, John Laurinaitis. People power. Control over Alberto Del Rio. 